New week, new content. We got some more drip feed clothing, some bonuses, and all bounties are now available. Howdy Cowpoke, Austin BMX here, and yeah, it's time to take a drink because we didn't get anything big this week. We got a little bit of news, some bonuses, and you know, all legendary bounties are available, so that is kind of cool. That's right, guys. Uh, the Newswire today states that uh, all 10 legendary bounties are available now at the bounty board. Um, they said they're available across all platforms, including PC and Stadia, so we were expecting them to kind of do that, kind of roll out some of this stuff that we did not get, or they did not get, uh, while it wasn't launched on their platform. So we we're probably going to see a couple weeks of stuff like this, and possibly even there's this week, because there was a lot of stuff they added this week. Um, but if you go over to the bounty board now, if you click on it, you can always do hard, which is awesome, because it's been always hard to do a hard bounty, because uh, the legendary was always there. Um, and if you had a posse of more than four people, you can only do, you know, easy and medium, I guess they call these. I don't really know what they are. But now you can actually click on triangle in here and bring up another menu that has all the legendary bounties. And they're even set at the rank that you already completed. So it looks like I didn't complete level five of Philip. I can go back and do that. I didn't complete level five of the Wolfman. I can go back and do that one. I did complete level five of Cecil. That was one of my favorite ones. Uh, Yukon, I need to do level five. Uh, Alcazar, I need to do level 5. Most of them I think I need to do level 5. Yeah, I didn't do level 5 of Sergio. He was one of my favorite ones as well. And uh, I didn't do many of Tobin and many of Redbed. So uh, that's pretty awesome. You can go back here and do those. Uh, once you get to level 5, you definitely are stuck at level 5. But this allows anybody that missed out, didn't have a chance to get in there and do them, um, was on PC or Stadia now that just launched, and, and missed out on all the beginning ones, you can go back and do all those, so that's pretty great. I guess it is kind of cool. I, I knew there was going to be something this week that, that kind of ties, gets all the platforms on the same line, right? Because we had the Outlaw Pass on console for uh, eight weeks, I think, maybe seven until PC launched. Uh, so they didn't get the Outlaw Pass or even the club at all because, you know, they Rockstar didn't want to give them a short amount of time to do that. And of course, Stadia didn't get it at all because it just launched. So so we're trying to get everybody on the same platform right now. So I think they can launch some new content. Uh, so right now, the legendary bounties are all available. That's cool. They gave them to us. We didn't get anything new, but you can go back and play your favorite. Have fun with those and get some gold. Speaking of gold and money, uh, right now, the legendary bounties, it does state is let's see what it says it's 50 percent more cash and 25 percent more xp this week so that's a pretty awesome bonus man that's a pretty awesome bonus 50 percent more cash and 25 percent more xp for those legendary bounties so the way to get multiple or a high amount of xp in those is take your time uh, go get the bounty live go take care of your mission ride around for a while the easiest way to do it is to ride to a far jail Right, go go two or three towns away. If you have a bounty like the Alcazar bounty out in, in Armadillo, or uh, Alcazar's need to think farther than that, don't take them to the close jail. Go up to Blackwater, or even right all the way to Strawberry. It'd take you 10 minutes or so, but you'll get some pretty good gold for that, for sure. So that's a pretty awesome bonus. They also state that if you need the Bounty Hunter mission, this probably pertains to more of the players that just came out. It's 15 gold still, or you can get it for free by uh, link in your Twitch, Prime, and Social Club account. So that still is available for anybody that does not have the Legendary or the Bounty Hunter license yet. All right, moving on. If you guys weren't aware, we did get update title 1.15 yesterday. I didn't have a video out on it yesterday. It mainly addressed a whole bunch of PC crashes, uh, maybe some Stadia as well, but definitely some PC crashes with different things in the game. One of them was even fixing a crash when you closed the game which was kind of weird, but hey, gotta make sure that game works good. I, I, I know it sucks that we're not getting many fixes on the console. Um, I, I do remember when the game first came out on console and there were updates every week, just like the PC trying to fix things. I know the issues that we're having in the game right now suck. As you can see here in the background, I'm playing with camp. Camp has been loading into the game when I load in. 
uh, pretty regularly the last couple days, including last night and then this morning when I was playing. I was able to move it once, but then it got stuck and I tried to move it multiple times and I, I didn't have a camp at all. So camp issue definitely is not completely fixed, although it has been showing up when I log in. So as long as you're fine with where it is, it, it has been working a lot better. Animal spawns are kind of hard this morning. Uh, there wasn't many people in the lobby, um, so they were spawning okay. They weren't great. There was nothing over in the Heartland Overflow. Usually there's four or five deer over there. Um, you do see some buffalo here in a little bit when we get over the hill, though. But moving on to bonuses this week, beyond the Bounty Hunter bonus, um, we do have 25% off uh, the Bounty Hunter wagon price. So if you haven't purchased a Bounty Hunting wagon, it is 25% off this week. Go ahead and go pick that up. It also says collectors can take advantage of a 25% discount on all items sold by Bam Nazar. All items. That probably even includes items that are gold like the machete. But if you go to Madame Nazar for herbs, um, I imagine that's all of the eye patches and the belt buckles and the rings. Those are all purchased by Madame Nazar. So go check that out. Get yourself some pretty cool stuff. 25% off this week. And everything sold to fence is 25% off. That probably includes all the pamphlets and then all the generic general stuff that we use all the time. Dynamite, blow stuff up a little cheaper, fire bottles, um, any weapons that are there. But the big thing is pamphlets though. If you don't have any of the pamphlets that you're looking for, this might be a good week to jump onto those and pick them up at a 25% discount. PlayStation Plus members can still get if they log in before November 25th. Actually, why is that even in here? Why am I even reading that? It literally states, PlayStation Plus members can play Red Dead Online before November 25th. Well, that was yesterday. They'll receive the four Pentacle cards. So that is not a thing anymore. Maybe there's something new. Uh, usually we get something for PlayStation every month, a little bonus. So maybe we'll, I'll watch the PlayStation blog and uh, see if we've got anything new on that because that bonus is gone and over with. It does state, though, that, um, again, Twitch and Social Club linking is definitely great to do. You can get uh, all the light, you can get the Bounty Hunter license for free, and as well, you get 10% off all of the bonuses more. So, the Bounty Hunting Wagon, if you have Twitch Prime linked, is not 25% off, it's 35% off. Same with all the discounts for Madame Nazar, 35% off, and all the fence stuff, 35% off. So, I highly recommend linking that up, guys. If you uh, don't have Twitch Prime, um, if, and if you have Amazon Prime, they're the same thing. And if, uh, if you don't have any of those, make sure that you uh, use a 30-day free trial, maybe, if you're looking to purchase something right now. And uh, you, then you can get them linked up, use that 30-day free trial to use these benefits for the next 30 days, actually. Because usually there's benefits all the time, including free stuff. If you guys haven't seen our video yet on the channel, we do have a video out showing all locations of the new Madame Mazar Weekly set. It's called the Foundations Collection. It consists of the Feldspar Arrowhead, the Endicott Diamond Earring, and the Emmeline Curl Earrings. So I'm going to be pronouncing those incorrectly all week. Just give me a hard time now, and it'll be over with. But make sure you guys are getting all those every single day. It is $85. It's a pretty good set. Uh, usually they're... 60 or 75 so it is a high-end one with those two earrings so make sure you guys are checking out that and get it over to Madame Bazaar all week for the foundations collection i'll get a link up in the video right now for that locations video we have a couple new clothing items and we'll go check a look at them as well there's the coventing hat the coven covington hat and then additional tints of the pattern bandana uh, it says on offer for a limited time so maybe both of those are only offered for a limited time that's kind of weird um they also state though that if you missed out on any items that released recently within the last 10 weeks during the Legendary Bounty Run, that a wide range of clothing for the past weeks is now available for a limited time in the catalog. So again, they're looking to try to get anybody that missed out that didn't have the game either on PC or Stadia, that missed out on some of the stuff earlier during this Legendary Bounty period, we'll call it Frontier Pursuits launch time, um, to get that stuff and get the ability to buy all that Hopefully they don't do that with the Outlaw Pass as well. Um, there wasn't much information on the Outlaw Pass, but there is one good thing. The very bottom of the newswire, they give their their Covington and Signature stay tuned for updates. But it does say, stay tuned for more news on the next Red Dead Online update soon, as well as details on the next Outlaw Pass. And head over to Social Clubs to see all the events. So this is the first time they've stated in a newswire that a new Outlaw Pass is going to come. It does say... Stay tuned for more information coming on the next Outlaw Pass, but hey, 
at least they let us know that something is coming. Hopefully it's soon. Let's go take a look at some of this new clothing and see what's in the game now for the limited time. All right, so we made it over to our favorite shop. We're gonna check out look at the clothing real quick. Uh, did say we have a new hat. So this is the new hat, the Covington hat. The Covington hat says it is new. It is limited stock though. It is pretty sweet. It is a pretty tall, tall cowboy hat. It is kind of weird. It's not really a a stove top hat, but it's not really a cowboy hat. It's like kind of like you got a conehead cowboy hat. It is pretty cool though. I kind of like it. It is pretty funny. Um, it do show that there are some other limited stock stuff. The Dillahy hat, um, that was limited stock a while back. So make sure if you missed that on that, you can jump back in and get that. Um, we also have the Fowell hat. That was a hat that was in just a while back. I picked up one of the green ones. I think that was like maybe two weeks ago at the most. So that's back in now. So make sure to check in. I think there was some more stuff that probably came in limited stock. Maybe not. And uh, I'm not sure if this week they have all the limited stock stuff that came in. Uh, we should take a look at some of the other stuff. Maybe uh, coats, see if there's any limited stock because there isn't any new limited stock here. But we do have a couple coats in here that are limited stock. So maybe this week they're just dumping us with a whole bunch of new stuff. And maybe we'll get something for next week. But this jacket right here, which is pretty sweet, if you guys missed that on the freaking Eagle jacket, make sure you pick at least one of those up. They're pretty nice. Um, and the Pedro, the, is that Pedro? No, it's Prier, Prierto. Is that right? Pier, Prierto? Poncho? That's a pretty nice one as well. So there's some limited stock stuff that's back in. Um, let's take a look at maybe shirts or vests. There's probably a whole bunch of stuff. Make sure you guys are going through all this stuff. If you missed anything that you saw, that you want to grab uh, definitely take a look at everything right now because um, there's probably a lot of stuff definitely a lot of stuff that's gonna cycle back through so we're kind of in that cycle back through drip feed content I knew we were probably gonna beat it for hopefully only a couple weeks it is Thanksgiving holiday here in the States um, and we're trying to get everybody caught up that missed out on some of the stuff for the outlaw pass and all this items for our PC and Stadia. So hopefully we only get a couple weeks of this. Even one week would be good. We did get information that there is a new outlaw pass coming. Stay tuned for more information. So uh, hopefully we do get some more information soon. And uh, make sure you guys are getting all those bounties. Using all those discounts we mentioned. Definitely a lot of good discounts and more payout. Money and XP on those legendary bounties so make sure you guys are going over there and clean up on that watch hey watch out buddy well guys i hope you like this video the new weekly content we got all the bonuses if you did make sure to smash that like button if you're new around here consider subscribing to the channel for more red dead online content including tips and tricks news updates gameplay this good old-fashioned fun hope to see you on the prairie sometime but until then see you later